With hearts ready, open, and on fire for God, let us enjoy this unbound worship experience together. Let's vault in! Be a part of our weekly cell groups, meet new friends, and be connected. Join us every Tuesday morning at 6 a.m. for an hour of prayer. Choose today to seek God and pray. Are you looking for a chance to serve in our church? Sign up and be a volunteer. Step into your calling and see what God can do through you. If you are new here, we would love to get to know you. Let us know you are here by typing I'm new on the comment section or simply message us through our page and other social media platforms. and on fire for God, let us enjoy this unbound worship experience together. Let's vault in! Be a part of our weekly cell groups, meet new friends, and be connected. Join us every Tuesday morning at 6 a.m. for an hour of prayer. Choose today to seek God and pray. Are you looking for a chance to serve in our church? Sign up and be a volunteer. Step into your calling and see what God can do through you. If you are new here, we would love to get to know you. Let us know you are here by typing I'm new on the comment section or simply message us through our page and other social media platforms. and on fire for God, let us enjoy this unbound worship experience together. Let's vault in! Be a part of our weekly cell groups, meet new friends, and be connected. Join us every Tuesday morning at 6 a.m. for an hour of prayer. Choose today to seek God and pray. Are you looking for a chance to serve in our church? Sign up and be a volunteer. Step into your calling and see what God can do through you. If you are new here, we would love to get to know you. Let us know you are here by typing I'm new on the comment section or simply message us through our page and other social media platforms. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no mind has imagined what God has prepared for those who love Him. We are changed from glory to glory. The old has gone, the new has come. God is making everything new. We have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. We are not forsaken. We are not abandoned. We are not rejected. We are called children of God. And we really are His children. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus, so we can do the good things He planned for us long ago. Transformation
in the name of God. Mga buhay natin, sa buhay ng bawat isa. Tuloy mo siyang itaas. For He is worthy. Amen, God. Alang iba, God. Nothing compares, God. It's only you, God. We can satisfy our needs, God. Our, our, our everything, God. It's you alone, God. It's you alone.
What a powerful name. My name is Judine and I'm here to share about giving. Giving is not all about the money kung magkano po yung ibibigay mo kay Lord, pero kung ano po yung nilalaman ng heart mo pagdating po kay Lord. Amen po. Um, na-experience yun na po ba yung work ka ng work, overtime ka ng overtime, tapos pagdating po ng payday mo or nung sahod mo, ubus na or kumbaga, kumpyutado mo na yung sahod mo. Tapos magugulat ka na lang may dalating na tao na para i-blessed ka. Amen? Um, I want to share Luke 5, verse 4 to 7. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into deep water and let down the nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we work hard all night and haven't caught anything. But because you say so, I will let down the nets. Ito po yung pinaka-exciting part sa Bible story po na to, or Bible verse. Sabi po is, When they had done so, they caught such a large number of fish that their nets began to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats so full that they began to sink. Ito po yung story sa Bible na nakita po ni Jesus, yung mga fishermen, um, andun din po si Simon na wala pong nahuling isda. Kaya po sabi po ni Jesus kay Simon, ihulog po yung net sa dagat at makakahuli po sila ng isda. So, dahil daw po sinabi ni Jesus yun kay Simon, ginawa po ito ni Simon at nakahuli po sila ng maraming at malalaking isda. Para, para po sa pagbibigay natin kay Lord, um, paano ka makakaani kung hindi ka naman nagtatanim kay Lord? Amen? Kahit ano man yung ibigay mo kay Lord, maliit man yan o malaki, meron yung reward kay Lord. Amen po. Yung pagsuserve mo, yung pag-obey mo sa kanya, yung pag-obey mo sa leader mo, sa parents mo, may reward po yan kay Lord. Amen? Kaya kapag hinulog mo yung net, merong ibibigay sa'yo si Lord na blessings. When we give, dapat meron din po tayong trust kay Lord na mangyayari po yung mga pinagpipray po natin sa kanya. Amen? And kung gusto po natin yung mga bagay na to, kailangan din po natin gumalaw. Amen po. If you want something from God, pray and ask God. Ito po yung natatunan ko sa pagbibigay ko po kay Lord na hindi lang po ako magbibigay kay Lord pero po um, kakausapin ko po si Lord kung ano po yung nilalaman ng puso ko, kung ano po yung gusto kong mangyari or mga prayer po kay Lord. Amen po. Um, kapag sinabi po ni Lord sa iyo na ibigay mo, ibigay mo. Kapag po sinabi ni Lord na bitawan mo, bitawan mo. Amen po ba? Kapag sinabi ni Lord na magbubuho siya sa iyo ng blessings, mangyayari yun. Amen? You need to trust and obey His Word. Kailangan, na, kailangan po natin maging faithful and magtiwala po tayo kay Lord na lahat po ng mga pinagpipray po natin, lahat po ng mga sinasabi natin kay Lord, mangyayari po yun. Amen? Magugulat ka na lang po pagising mo sa umaga or pagtingin mo po sa mga paligid mo. Yung mga prayer mo pala is nangyari na, naibigay na pala sa iyo ni Lord. Amen? God will make miracle in our lives. Amen po ba? 
God is good. Amen? Kaya kung ready ka na na ma-receive yung ibubuho sa'yo ni Lord na blessings katulad ng binigay ni Jesus ka nila sa iyo na sobra-sobra or malalaki yung mga nahuli nilang isda. Why not po? Um, i-ready na po natin yung offering natin kay Lord and let's pray. Um, hallelujah Lord. Hallelujah Jesus. Lord, thank you God for this day God na muli po kami mag-offer sa iyo Lord. Salamat Lord God sa pagbibigay niyo po sa amin ng biyaya, ng blessings Lord God. Thank you God na safe po kami palagi Lord God. We know Lord God na kasama ka po namin Lord. I pray God sa mga family po namin Lord God na may mga nararamdaman ngayon Lord. I pray Lord God na ini heal nyo na po isila, Lord God. And Lord, as we give to you itong offering namin, Lord God, we know, Lord God, na um, dodoblihin nyo po ito, Lord God, na ang ditiwala kami sa iyo, Lord God, na sa pagbibigay po namin sa iyo ng offering, Lord God, binibig, ibinibigay din po namin yung heart namin sa iyo, Lord God. Thank you, God, for this day, Lord God. We're excited for more of you, Jesus. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, may kita nyo po sa screen nyo po yung Um, bank account and GCash account details po ng Unbound City Church. Thank you po. To give your tithes and offerings, you may give them via GCash or bank-to-bank -bank transfer. The account details are flashed on your screen for your reference. Kindly send your giving receipts through our email at unboundcitychurch at gmail.com. May the Lord increase your generosity. Thank you for your support in expanding God's kingdom. God bless you. Thank you, Church, for giving faithfully to the Lord. We know that as we obey Him, God is doing something in our lives and we will see more of Him. So right now, what you see is us wearing our royalty t-shirt because seven days na or five days na lang at Royalty Women Conference na. Woo! Sumigaw lahat ng women! Yeah, so we want to invite you to Royalty Women Conference happening on June 25, 1 to 5 p.m. at Coffeesery Moonwalk, Paranaque. So if you have any concerns or kung meron kayong mga gustong i-invite, please uh, put it on the comment section and we will be glad to assist you. Woo! So right now, I'm here po sa other, uh, other ministry members natin for our women conference. And we want to give you a glimpse of what we are expecting sa gagawin ng Lord for this women conference. So, ayan. Um, Nobrang nakaka-excite and I'm, belie I'm believing na sa conference na yun talagang ma-encourage ang bawat isa. Talagang mawawala yung stress natin. And talagang, talagang sobrang nakaka-excite. Naniniwala kami na talagang doon makakilala tayo ng mga bagong tao, bagong kaibigan. Talagang na makakasama at makakatulong din sa bawat isa. Yun ang... Ayan, kaya po sa lahat ng women, kung ikaw po ay uh, mom and you're worrying about your kids, wag po kayong mag because we have people who will assist us with our kids then So, do not worry na. San ko iiwan yung mga anak ko? Pwede, pwede po kayong magsama. Just let us know so we can prearrange you. Ayan. So, let's go for Ate Reg naman. What do you expect sa ating women conference? Yes, I expect to see women find their identity in Christ. I think that's very powerful and um, yun yung pinaka-gold din talaga na, na tong royalty women's conference natin. And I invite all the youths out there to please come, please join, and feel free to invite your family, your friends. Ako kanina, na-invite ko na si Mama. She'll come! So, please, please don't miss it. You don't wanna miss it. So, hope to see you there. Yeah. Wow. So, kung ikaw po ay nahihiyang pumunta dahil wala kang kasama, why not invite your friends? Invite, invite mo yung classmate mo, patid mo, yung mga kaibigan mo. Para ka na nag-iisa na everyone. So, every woman. For every woman. So, you can invite them. May tatay o ikaw po ay brother and you have a sister, you have a, a girlfriend, di ba? Why not invite them? I know and I believe that this will be one of the best gift na maibibigay natin sa kanila. Woohoo! 
And ngayon, let's go for Ate Nash. Ate Nash, what do you expect for the Women Conference? Ako, uh, what I expect sa Women's Conference is more empowerment para dyan yeah! sa mga moms and single moms out there. So yeah! if you're um, yeah! if you're a mom and you're a single mom or young adult, feel free to join. And yeah! don't worry about your kids kasi nga may, uh, may mga mag-aassist and magbabantay. Yun. You're so welcome. Yes, you're so welcome. So, ano pang inaantay mo? Register na. It's free and there's food and snacks there. So, wala ka na talagang iisipin just to be there and be with your uh, women or co-women, be with your friends. And alam nyo po, we wanna see women not having competition, but we wanna see women being included in crime. Diba? So please come. At makita niyo po na we are wearing our royalty women t-shirt. Yan. Actually, pwede rin po siya sa kalalakihan. Yan. So, kaya po, if you also, if if the royalty speaks to you, di ba? Why not? Parang kung nag um, royalty ring a bell and talagang na gusto mo ng t-shirt na ito, you know, it's good for, it's only 380 pesos. And hindi lang po yun, pag bumili ka po ng t-shirt, you're helping the conference or you're sponsoring Sponsoring the the conference too. You're helping women to see Christ even more. So you can support us by purchasing the T-shirt. So sabi ko nga po, pwede sa lalaki, pwede sa babae, pwede sa youth, pwede sa moms, pwede din sa fathers. So ano pang inaantay mo? Come and we will see you there. So sa lahat po ng women, see you there. So God bless you and see you there for all women. Father's Day po sa lahat po ng mga amang nanunood or if you are watching and celebrating it with your father from Andown City Church, we wanna greet you. Happy Father's Day! I hope you're enjoying the presence of God with your family. So, why not we pray po, ipagpanalangin po natin yung ating mga ama. Let's just close our eyes and pray. For them, God, we just thank you, Lord, sa aming mga tatay. We thank you, God, that you have this day, Lord, where we can celebrate and appreciate them. Father, we pray sa aming mga tatay that you will continue, God, to give them strength and wisdom as they continue to be the father in their family, Lord. Ikaw po, Panginoon, ang magiging source of love, source of strength, God, and we pray that you will continue to protect them. And God, para po sa aming mga ama, if If we have fathers right now who's watching na merong um, dinaramdam na sakit, we pray for healing, God, in the name of Jesus, for your physical healing. And right now, Lord, even if they are having emotional tiredness, God, dalangin po namin na today as they hear your word, God, that you will comfort them with your word. And even, to, even as of this moment right now, Lord, that you 
will, Lord, you are reaching out to their hearts and comforting them right now. Marami pong salamat, Panginoon, sa aming mga, um, mga ama, Panginoon. Salamat na ikaw po ay naging mabuti that you have given them in our lives. Thank you then, Father in heaven, that you are the good, good Father. Thank you because you are our comforter, our provider. You are the one who understands us, Lord. And you are the Father, Lord, where we can run, Lord, kung meron kaming mga nararanasang challenges sa buhay or pain, God. Ikaw po yung takbuhan namin, Panginoon. Thank you for being that shelter and a source of refuge for us, God. We bless you and honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, kung... Ikaw po ay kasama mo po ang iyong ama or maybe malayo ka sa kanila, why not give them uh, a text message or just to greet them, di ba? And tell them how much you love them. Kaya pa, happy Father's Day. I love you pa. See you later. <laughs> so, uh, yes, and um, today is a good day na ginawa ng Lord. Simula kanina, we are seeing um, the goodness and the presence of God. And today, I want to share a word entitled, The Crown of Glory. Uh, the Crown of Glory. So, bago ako mag-start, it's June 19. So, June 19 na. So, can you believe it? We're in the half. No, we're entering the half uh, part of the year. The second half of the year. And time flies. Parang no nakaraan lang. We're just on the lakefront starting our service, di ba? our live service, pero ngayon, naka-anim na buwan na tayo sa taong 2022. It happened so fast and, you know, parang last month lang, iniisip ko lang yung 2020, mga nangyari ng 2021 ko, di ba? Then, pagising mo, 20, ano na agad, malapit na agad mag months and sa, sa susunod, di ba? We're just thinking ano na yung mga Christmas gifts natin. We're just thinking paano tayo celebrate ng Christmas. Time really happens so fast. And uh, can you believe it? Next week, it's a women conference. We're preparing it for more than a month. Pero ito na yung inaantay natin. So once again, uh, if you haven't registered, we will send you the registration link. Please, please register before you come. Yeah. And so, <clears throat> so napakabilis po ng panahon. Maybe there's a lot of things na hindi mo pa napaprocess ngayong 2022. But I pray and I hope that this message will encourage you to see and hold on to the promises of God for your life. Maybe it's 20, it's the second half of the 2022 and yet, alam mo yan, parang may sinasabi ka pa na, Lord, hindi ko pa nakikita yung promises mo or Lord, why I am still in this season? Lord, why, why I am still... Um, why I'm still doing or trying to conquer kung ano man yung mga pagsubo ko. Parang, Lord, it's been six months, it's been three months. Lord, mag matatapos yung 2022 ko, pero parang you feel that you're not growing, you're doing the same you're doing the same thing over and over again or you're trying to conquer the same thing over and over again. You know, maybe there's a lot of thoughts in your mind na, Matatapos sa 2022, pero ano nang nangyari sa buhay ko, di ba? Parang it's the same as 2021 na pagising mo, New Year na, di ba? So parang maybe there's a lot of things going on in your mind. But I wanna share this uh, word, the crown of glory. And I pray that this will align our hearts to the hearts of God for our, for our lives. Amen. Amen. So, I want to share from Isaiah 28, verse 5. So, verse 5 to 6 muna ako. So, sabi dito, In that day, the Lord of hosts will be a crown of glory and a diadem of beauty to the remnant of his people and a spirit of justice to him who sits in judgment. So, um, ano lang nga, kanina kasi you're seeing us wearing a t-shirt royalty and there's this verse, Isaiah 62, verse 5. So, or Isaiah 62, verse verse 3 something like that um i think um i think that verse also speaks of the glory of god and us being a diadem of beauty pero medyo dito sa 5 sa Isaiah 28 verse 5 to 6 medyo iba yung ano niya medyo iba yung sinasabi niya so sabi po dito ulitin ko in that day the lord of hosts will be a crown of glory and a diadem of beauty to the remnant of his people and a spirit of justice to him who sits in judgment so this will be our main text for today 
I wanna give you kung ano ba yung story nito. Simulan natin sa Isaiah chapter 28 verse 1 to 4. Okay, bago po yung 5 to 6 na yon. Okay, sabi po dito, at the pra- Ah, the proud crown of the drunkards of Ephraim and the fading flower of its glorious beauty, which is on the head of the rich valley of those overcome with wine. Behold, the Lord has one who is mighty and strong, like a storm of hail, a destroying tempest, like a storm of mighty overflowing waters he cast down to the earth with his hand. The proud crown of the drunkards of Ephraim will be trodden underfoot, And the fading flower of its glorious beauty, which is on the head of the rich valley, will be like a first ripe fig before the summer. When someone sees it, he swallows it as soon as it is in his hand. In verse 5 to 6, in, the day, in that day, the Lord of hosts will be a crown of glory and a diadem of beauty to the remnant of his people and a spirit of justice to him who sits in judgment. So, kung mapapansin nyo, no, yung Isaiah 1 to 4, parang, ah, Lord, medyo hard ka naman dito. <laughs> Pero pagdating ng 5, 5 to 6, verse 5 to 6, there's this promise of God for us. So, ano po ba yung story nito? So, The title nitong chapter na to is Judgment on Ephraim and Jerusalem. So this Ephraim and Jerusalem, ito po yung mga panahon that God has blessed them. God has blessed them with riches. God has blessed them with resource na talagang ine-enjoy nila. But then, because of this, or itong riches na nararamdaman nila or nararanasan nila, na binigay sa kanila ng Lord, Instead of putting their confidence to the Lord, they took pride on what they have. They put their confidence on the riches that they are experiencing and they were drunk with wine. They were proud. Sabi nga doon eh, the, uh, the proud crown of the drunk hearts of Ephraim. So parang ang hard. But because they took pride on what they have rather than the source of what they have. That's why nagkaroon po ng prophecy. So this Isaiah 28 is a prophecy na because you trust in your riches, because you trust in your wine, because po ng mga panahon na to, ang, ang lugar po ng Ephraim and Jerusalem, they were, um, they, they were on the top. Talagang ano po sila, they, they have resources, they enjoying their lives. Alam mo yun, minsan pag yung bank account mo talagang healthy, alam mo yun, parang minsan madalig makalimot to the source of life. no So parang nung mga panahon po nila, they were enjoying what they have that they forgot who had given them what they have, who had given them the ability to produce what they have. So they were trying to celebrate what they have without God and they were trying to put their hope dun sa mga riches na meron sila and they turn away from God. That's why Israel or that's why Isaiah prophesied this verse 28, 1 to 4. Kaya po sabi dun, eh, tatanggalin ko yung beauty mo, the fading flower of its glorious beauty which is on the head of the rich valley of those overcome with wine. They were overcome with wine. Maybe they were they were partying, maybe they were drunk all day, ba? Diba? Maybe they were trying to just focus on, you know, ha- having the pleasures in life. Kaya po, pi- kaya po nag-prophesy si Isaiah or he had received this word from the Lord na ito yung mangyayari because you didn't trust in the Lord because you focus on other things rather than on God. But the verse 5 to 6 really speaks to my heart kasi sabi doon eh, kahit na yung 1 to 4 Pro, uh, Isaiah was prophesying na ito yung gago, ito yung judgment na kakaharapin niyo but the 5 and 6 brings the mercy of God to them sabi po doon in that day the lord of hosts will be a crown of glory and a diadem of beauty to the remnant of his people so there's this word that Isaiah had given for those who trust in the Lord. Kasi sabi doon eh, to the remnant of His people, yung mga taong nagstay in the presence of God, nagstay trusting in the Lord, rather than what the life has offering to them, they will experience the mercy and the promises of God in their lives. So ang sarap po, no, no, yung parang hindi, minsan uh, nakikita natin or may mga tao na they faith 
their their faith were being were waver or nagwaver yung faith nila because of the challenges na kinaharap nila because of the pain and suffering but there are also people who whose faith had faded away because of the riches of life alam mo yon may mga ganun eh so it's really where are where, where do you focus where do you go to na talagang nagmamatters whether you are in a high or low seasons of your life. Kanino mo ba inilalagay yung tiwala mo? Amen. So I wanna I wanna share this uh this word entitled the crown of glory because I believe God has promised for us. God has promised us to experience this, to experience him. So for us, how are we going to see the crown of glory in our lives? Kasi po sabi doon eh, kung babalikan natin yung Isaiah 5 to 6, or sabi doon na hindi lahat, it's those who are going to receive this crown of glory, it's for the remnant of his people. Yung mga tao lang ng Diyos, yung mga nagtiwala at nagpersevere until the end for the Lord. So mamaya I'm gonna share this. What does it mean when we, we, we talk about the crown of glory? So number one, Okay, how to see the crown of glory in, in our lives. Number one, trust in the Lord's perfect timing for His promises. Okay, trust in the Lord's perfect timing for His promises. Balik tayo sa Isaiah 55, or Isaiah 28 verse 5. Sabi doon, in that day, the Lord of hosts. So, may kita mo yung phrase na in that day, merong specific time that Isaiah is prophesying na sa araw na to, sa oras na to, God will do this. God will do this and this. So, there's this timeline from the Lord. Ibig sabihin, si Lord, hindi lang siya magbibigay, ah, eto si Maricar, mabait na, ibibigay ko na yung promises ko. Hindi ganon. <laughs> hindi ganon. Diba? Ah, eto si, ano, ah, eto si Roy, mabait na, ibibigay ko yung, ano, ibibigay ko yung pangako ko. So, hindi lang siya according to you. Hindi lang siya according to your behavior. That, but there is a specific timeline that God has, um, that God has allotted na sa oras na to, dito mangyayari yung pangako ko. Amen. Hindi lang siya, ah, nakikita ko si Rutsel, parang ano na, sobrang nahihirapan na, so I'm gonna give these promises to him. No way, eh, merong mga, minsan, ano, God is God is faithful, but also, God has his own timeline, you know, and God's timeline for us is always the best for us. God's timeline for us is always the best. You know, our desired timeline may not be aligned in God's timeline, but, but but between your desired time versus God's plan, His timing is the best and even better. Amen? He may not answer it according to how we want it, but He will surely answer it according to what's best for us because He is that good. Amen? He is that good. So may kita mo, no, minsan, no, tayo, kinocompare natin yung, ano, kinocompare natin yung, timeline natin versus timeline nila na parang bakit sila 24 pa lang kasal na bakit ako di ba 38 na ano pa rin alam mo yun minsan we're looking to the other's timeline when while you know while looking while, while comparing our timeline to them we forgot that there is timeline that God has for us that there is plan that God has for us di ba bakit siya at 20 at, at 20 years old may ano na di ba may House and lot na, may kotse pa, brand new, di ba? Bakit ako, di ba? Ten years na ako sa work ko, pero ito pa rin yung nararamdaman ko. Ito pa rin yung nararanasan ko. Ito pa rin yung mga, ito pa rin ako paulit-ulit sa mga bagay that I'm trying to conquer. You know, stop looking to the timeline of others because God has His own plan for your life. And it may not be the same as them, but it will be surely for your good. Amen. Just look at the trees or look at the fruits. Alam niyo po ba na ang 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 timeline po or ang ang oras para magbunga ng apple ay different for for comparing to the orange trees. So sometimes orange trees before they bear fruit, it will take them or it will took them mga 8 to 9 years. 
Pero ang Apple, isang taon lang. Alam mo yon may mga ganong mga comparison, but they, they are different trees. They are different, uh, they have different roots. So we cannot compare them na, ano ba tong orange tree, napakabagal, hindi ka tulad nitong Apple, napaka, <laughs> hindi ko pwedeng ganunin, di ba? Because they have their own design. They have their, their own timeline. And ganun din po sa atin. When you compare yourself to other people, you are missing what God has for you. Amen. Amen. So, Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1, sabi po dito, There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. So, Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 already inform us that there is a time for everything. Sabihin mo nga po yun, there is a time for everything. Kaya kung yung mga pangarap mo, ilang taon na hindi pa rin nagka, na, nagkaka, na, natutupad, okay? <laughs> hindi pa rin natutupad. Or maybe you are dreaming and really praying for a lot of things. And parang sometimes along the way, you stop praying because God, I think it taking too long. Maybe it's not from you. Alam mo yun, minsan pag hindi natin nakikita yung panalangin natin or yung mga pangarap natin, minsan palitan na lang natin ng mas achievable. <laughs> Misa gano'n na lang eh. Doon lang tayo sa madali. At least ito, mga isang taon lang, makukuha ko na. ba? Diba? But you know, maybe if, you're at, if we are achieving or if we are desiring too little just because we want to be or we want to prevent disappointment in our lives, we will not be able to see the greatness that God has for us. Okay po? If we're trying... I want to repeat that. If we're trying to dream little just to prevent disappointment in our lives, we are missing or we we are missing the greatness that God has for us. So don't dream too little because you have a great God. Amen. Don't try to minimize your dream just because you want to you want it to see happen right away. Because sometimes Great things starts from small beginnings, my Lord. <laughs> Sometimes, diba? So, don't, don't, um, I do believe that breakthrough is coming when we stay faithful in the Lord. And, sabi po, um, Isaiah 55 verse 11, sabi po dito, So shall my word be that goes out from my, mi- my mouth, it shall not return to me empty, but sit shall accomplish that which I purpose and shall succeed in the thing for which I send it. Okay, sabi po dito, so, so shall my word be that goes out from my mouth, it shall not return to me empty. Yung, yung mga salita daw na lumalabas kay Lord o yung mga pangako ng Lord sa buhay natin, the word that He released, it will not return empty and it will surely come to pass. So I want to encourage you, go back to that dream, go back to that promises, go back to that prophecy na binitawan sa'yo because it doesn't mean that you are in a different season right now. It will not come true. Season may pass but the word of God will completely happen in our lives. Amen? Yung mga pangako ng Lord sa'yo, go back to that. Maybe somewhere along along the way you forgot it or you choose to forget it because of the pain that you have experienced, because of the disappointment that happens in your life. But you know, the promises of God is His promises and His word will not return empty to Him. So you can go back to Him. Ka- go back to His promises to your life. Kahit nakalimutan mo yan, God will not forget it. Kahit na kalimutan, pilitin mong kalimutan yung mga panalangin na yan, narinig na yan ni Lord and He is faithful for you. So go back to it. Pray once again. Partner again with the Lord dun sa mga pangako mo. Maybe you failed. But you know, God will never fail us. Maybe you failed holding it or you 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 failed trying to carry it. But you know what? Maybe you failed, but God won't fail us. Amen? God will never stop fulfilling His word for our lives because He is that faithful. We, will, we, we may be unfaithful, but God will remain faithful because that is who He is. Amen? And it cannot be changed that He is faithful. So instead of trying to condemn ourselves, I want to challenge you to stand up and pick up that dream and prayer once again and believe in the Lord. 
Amen. Trust again in His timing. You know, there may be challenges in the waiting, but it brings us to a deeper trust in the Lord. Amen. Sometimes talagang ang hirap pong mag-antay. <laughs> Amen. Tayo nga, ima, late lang ng two minutes eh, di ba? Pinapagalitan na ako, hindi, <laughs> late. <laughs> late. Me, you know, there may be a challenge in the waiting, but it brings us into deeper trust in the Lord. So, continue to trust in Him. You know, there is an invitation to trust in His timing. And in doing that, in trusting Him, in, in, tr in trusting in His timing, our faith goes deeper in Him. Amen? Amen. So, number two. Okay, number two. Remain to be His people. Okay, remain to be His people. When we go back to Isaiah 28 verse 5, sabi doon, The Lord of hosts will be a crown of glory and a diadem of beauty to the remnant of His people, to, the rema to His remaining people. Endure it until the very end. You know, God's promises of crown of glory belongs to His people. And those people is the one who persevered to be on His side until the very end. The priest didn't say all of his people, pero sabi doon, but it is yung crown of glory, it is for those who remain as his people despite the, de despite the temptation to trust in the riches. James 1 verse 12, sabi po doon, Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. So, meron po talagang mga challenges along the way. Ay, sabi nga po sa 1 Timothy verse 6, 11 to 13, sabi po doon, But as for you, O man of God, flee these things, pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, steadfast, and gentleness. And verse 12, fight the good fight of faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called and about which you made a good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Fight the good fight of faith. There is a battle. You know, God, Jesus already conquered the curse of sins for our life. But there is also a fight na kailangan natin, pan, kailangan natin hawakan or kailangan natin i-conquer. It is the fight to, to, to continue to believe in the Lord no matter what happens in our lives. We cannot say na life is easy. Diba? And even kahit na Christian tayo, makikita natin, parang recently there's a lot of, um, lot of breaks up, lahat of, uh, lahat, um, mga breaks ups and then issues and then some people are questioning yung faith nila kay Lord. Some people are questioning God's faithfulness because of the breaks up, because of the break ups. But then, I want you to know that God is faithful. That God is faithful. And sometimes, there are challenges in our lives. But the Bible already told us to fight the good fight of faith. Fight the good fight of faith. Ipaglaban mo yung pananampalataya mo kay Lord. Ipaglaban mo when there's a temptation to waver because of the pain and suffering that you are experiencing. Ipaglaban mo when there's this temptation to trust and enjoy the riches and forget about God. You know, ipaglaban mo yung yung pananampalataya mo. Let the, let the source of joy remain to be in God while also enjoying what He offers us. Amen. God wants us to be happy. God wants us to enjoy life. God promises abundance and prosperity for His people. But then, we have to continue to guard our hearts and faith to remain in the Lord. You know, sometimes when there is busyness of life and there's this temptation to just enjoy the pleasures of life, God is inviting us na I can give you joy, I can give you rest and abundance, but can you stay with me and trust me and trust in me? Amen. Ma, sometimes we're busy trying to make a living that we forgot the source of our lives. And God wants us, you know, God is the author of life. Kung, kung iisipin natin na pag walang, ha, pag, pag walang, ano, pag walang party, pag walang enjoyment of life, pag walang, ano, pag hindi natin piniling mag-enjoy by going, you know, by, by, by going and trying this good thing sa, sa, sa mundo, our lives is boring. No, you know, if you want to experience the true joy, 
if you want to experience an everlasting joy in your life, those satisfying love, those satisfying joy, we have to seek after God. What are you seeking right now? What are you trying to pursue at this moment? Are we trying to pursue our dreams? You know, Lord, partner ka na lang sa akin. Ha? Ako, <laughs> ako na magdadrive nitong buhay ko. Partner ka sa akin. Diba? Misan, Lord, ako nang bahala dito. Ano na lang, tulungan mo na lang ako sa part na to. <laughs> But you know, God wants to be the leader. God wants to be our Father who leads us into our destiny. Who leads us into our calling. God knows the dreams that we have inside of us. God knows yung desires natin to bring happiness to our family and success to our family. But then He wants you to trust Him. Can you let God be the driver diba? and just partner with Him? No, Lord, where are you taking me? Uh, where are you taking me? And kanina po, ano, mm, nung nagdadrive ako papunta po dito sa church, so duman po ako sa expressway. <laughs> Tapos sa expressway po, merong three lanes. Uh, yung, yung, ano, yung nasa harap ko po, ano, dalawang kotse, tapos, Uh, tapos mga truck na. So, normally, pag mga truck yung sa lane mo, mabagal ka, di ba? Eh, syempre, kaya ka nga nag-expressway para mabilis eh. So, mabagal ka. So, ang ginawa ng dalawang ano, ang ginawa ng dalawang kotse sa harap ko, syempre, lumipat sila ng lane. Okay, lumipat sila ng lane, tapos, para mas mabilis sila. Ngayon, sabi ng Lord, stay ka lang. Yes. <laughs> sabi ng Lord, stay ka lang sa lane mo. So, dire-diretso lang ako. Paglipat ng dalawang, paglipat ng dalawang kotse, sakto yung truck sa harap, lumipat din sa second lane. <laughs> Tapos, syempre ako, dahil wala ng truck, wala ng mga kotse, yung lane ko, ano na, maluwag na, dire-diretso na. Tapos natawa ko kasi naunahan ko sila. <laughs> Tapos, competitive pala, di ba? So, <laughs> Tapos ang layo ko na talaga, di na, ano, ang bilis ko na. Tapos na doon na sila. Because they change lane, tapos ako din. Tapos parang, um, nung, nung moment na yon sabi ng Lord sa akin, sabi sa'yo eh, stay in your lane eh. Di ba? So, stay in your lane. Kasi minsan, pag may mga nakikita tayong successful yung mga tao dito sa part na to, we wanna shift, uh, you know, it's not bad to learn from other people. It's not bad to see their strengths and learn from their learnings. But then, We must not forget that God has that God has also His own timeline for us and has a plan for us. So if God wants you to stay in your lane, stay stay in your lane. Baka lumipat ka ng lane mo na hindi naman para sa yon. Magulat ka yung mga trucks sa harap lumipat din, or magulat ka yung mga challenges mo lumipat din, or mas magdouble ba? Because it's not your lane. It's not for you. God just wants you to be where you are and allow Him to drive you to where He wants you to go. Amen. Sometimes you get distracted kasi nakita natin, ay, pumunta sila, mas mabilis yung mama doon dito ako. <laughs> well, 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 looking at them, we forgot our own journey and our own story. Diba? Minsan, because we're looking too much, minsan yun po yung nagiging um, temptation when we are looking to the social media most of the time. We're looking, ay, buti pa siya, ganito yung nararating niya, buti pa siya. You know, you're looking too much to other that you forgot that you have your own story. And when you embrace your own story, you will see the miracle of God in your story. Amen? So you have your own story. It may be painful in this season, but remember that when you stay in your lane, when you stay in the Lord, when you remain to be His people, He will clear the way for you. You may not see it right now dahil maybe may mga tracks, may mga loads in your life. But you know, when we continue to obey the voice of God, He already knows what will happen. He already knows what is happening. He already knows where you came from. So you do not be afraid when He wants you to be in this way lang. Because He already sees it. Amen. Kung lumipat ako ng lane kanina, baka mas maalas 12 na tayo. Na, and I mean, if, if we don't try, if we don't obey God, if we don't listen to His bo- voice, alam mo yun, andyan naman yung desire mo eh, to be, to be, to fulfill your destiny. But you know, it's not just having the desire to fulfill your destiny, but it's stepping in obedience to the Lord that leads us to the destiny that God has for us. Sabi mo nga po sa katabi mo, let's obey the Lord. <laughs> Amen. He, he is the beginning and the end. 
And He is also a God that is present. You know, He is present. He is with us everywhere. Diba? Alam mo yan, parang, alam na nga ni Lord lahat, ba't lumilipat ka pa? <laughs> diba? Alam naman ni Lord lahat, bakit ano pa? You know, sometimes may mga questions in our minds running. You can put it unto the Lord. God is not afraid of our questions. God is not afraid of our concerns. God is not afraid of the disappointments. Sometimes po, no, parang feeling natin ang kin- mahal lang tayo ng Lord when we do good. But you know, He already died on the cross even before we gave His life for Him. So in our worst or in our best, God's love is true and is great for each one of us. So I wanna I wanna encourage you right now. Maybe um tayo po yung mga maybe we are those people na nakaka-experience ng pain. And you know sometimes when we are in the season where there's challenges and pain, parang uh, parang minsan magwaver na lang kaya ako, you know? You know parang um alis na lang kaya ako kay Lord. Baka mas ano, baka mas wala pang hirap, baka mas madali pang makahanap ng partner, di ba? Alis na lang kaya ako kay Lord, pa, baka mas madaling yumaman or anything that you're dreaming of. But you know what? Things may not be easy. Things or life is hard when there's no God. Amen? Life is hard when there's no God. And even if there's God, sometimes may mga challenges po. Hindi yung pain and suffering, it's inevitable. But then, you can invite him in that vulnerability that you are feeling. You can invite him in that suffering. Kasi si Lord, he is not just God and he is not just good when you're in a season of abundance. But he is also a good God, a faithful God when we are in a season of loneliness. Amen. So, um, the, this week I was meditating again yung, uh, yung verse na Jesus wept. Uh, yung, uh, in the New Testament, there's this moment na namatay si Lazarus, a friend of God, a friend of Jesus, and then namatay siya, and then Jesus came to his burial, and then Jesus saw yung mga kapatid ni, ni, ni Lazarus and Mary and Martha, they were crying. They were, they, they were crying about the loss of their brother. And Jesus came to them, and Jesus see their cries. And you know what, did, what Jesus did? He wept. Uh, he wept not because Lazarus died. He wept because Mary and Martha were crying and he saw the pain that these two has been feeling. And instead of him trying na, hindi magtiwala ka sa akin, okay lang yan. Hindi ako bahala dyan. No, he, he sat with them and cried with them. He, um, he was weeping because he saw the pain ng magkapatid. And instead of just trying to push them to be okay, na hindi okay lang yan, na ba't ka iiyak, nandito naman ako, <laughs> no, in the end, yes, Jesus uh, bring Lazarus to life, but then that moment when Jesus were crying with Mary and Martha really speaks to me because it reminded me that during or in the moment where we are crying, in the moment of loneliness, sometimes God will just sit with us and cry with us. In the moment na parang, Lord, but ba ako ganito? <laughs> Alam mo yun? Lord, bakit ko ba to nagawa or what? Sometimes there's this voice of God not trying to condemn you but trying to comfort you. In the moments where you think you failed Him, sometimes hindi ka lang niya agad bibigyan na, no, you're a great person, no, you're ganito, ganyan. Sometimes He will encourage you that way but sometimes or most of the time, He will sit with you. He'll just sit with you and cry with you. Kasi si Lord, He is not, He will not just lead you, but He will walk you through that journey. He will walk you in that season of loneliness or lowliest. He will walk you in that season of abundance. He will enjoy life with you when you go to the resort. Enjoy Him when you go to when when you go to to just go to just a coffee shop. He can sit with you and talk with you. But you can find him there. Sometimes when you're just cooking, he, he will be with you. Kasi hindi lang si Lord pang simbahan. 
because He is for our lives. He is for us. He is for our daily lives. So you can invite Jesus in. You can invite Jesus in. And even if life is hard, but it will be, you know, you can conquer it with, uh, with Jesus in your side. Amen. So remain to be His people in the midst of the trials. Sometimes it's hard. You know, sometimes it's hard na, Lord, parang ano mo yun, paano mo makikita yung mga pangako ng Diyos and yung goodness ng Lord when there's this track of heaviness, when there's this track of challenges, when there's this track of bills, di ba, Lord? Lord, sabi mo, magpaprovide ka, pero bakit ganito? Amen. Lord, sabi mo, magpaprovide ka, pero bakit ganyan? Well, so, you know, you can you can bring that questions to the Lord. You can make Lord sabi mo eh. <laughs> diba? You can bring that, you know, because when you're bringing those things in the feet of Jesus, he will answer those things. He will show you his way. He will show you that you are not doing it alone because he's with you. So remain to be his people. Remain to be on his side through the goodness and through the bad times, or through the good times and the bad times. So remain to be in. Remain to be his people. That is the challenge. Eh? You know, in Isaiah 28 verse 1 to 4, the challenge for them is that the people trust in the riches. Masyado silang na overwhelmed. Na oh, ang saya dito. Ang daming pagkain, di ba? Ang saya dito, di ba? May party dito, may party don. Masyado silang nag-enjoy. Na nakalimutan nila na magtiwala o nakalimutan nila na ang source nga pala kung bakit ako meron na ganito is si Lord. They trust in their idols. They trust in their desires. Kasi ano na eh, nakuha na nila yung mga gusto nila eh, That they have food, an abundant food. Nung mga panahon po na yun, sabi po, they were, uh, the, yung Ephraim, yung lugar ng Ephraim in Jerusalem, they were the representative of Northern, Northern Kingdom nung part nila because they, they have the things that they need. You know, and, and because of that, they forgot the faithfulness of God in their lives. So I, I wanna, I wanna invite you in. If there's, you know, if there's something in your life na, um, because of the, those areas, those things in your life is taking you away from the Lord. Maybe you have to sit down and look to God once again. Na Lord, medyo nagiging busy na ako na I forgot about these things because God is not after what you can do for him god is not about the riches of the world but it's he's about your heart you know he had given yung mga riches na yon sa Ephraim because they he loved him and he want to fulfill his promises to, the, to to them but then they forgot yung yung kabutihan ng lord because they were busy trying to enjoy the things that they have you know, it's not it's it's not bad na maku, it's not bad to enjoy things na alam mo yung pinagpaguran mo, things na pinangarap mo na nakukuha mo na siya. But in those ta- those in those season of abundance, never forget the one who had given you the ability to have that abundant life. Amen. Because if we're trying to trust in the Lord in in you know in that abundance or in that challenging moments we will continue to see his greatness in our lives but in the season of abundance and we stop trying to trust in him trying to go back to him magugulat ka na lang nawawala na siya isa-isa because hindi na natin siya ma steward because nawala na yung ability natin to trust in the lord nawala na yung ability natin to to make god the source of of what of of what we have in our lives so I wanna, I wanna, I wanna encourage you to remain to be His people. Nakaka, parang nakaka, ano lang no, parang na na amaze. Hindi naman na amaze, pero parang nagulat lang ako na yung 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 mga tao na yung mga tao na nakalagay don to the remnant of, of His people in Isaiah fifty five, uh, Isaiah twenty eight verse five. Sabi don yung mga tao na mga receive ng crown of glory sila yung nung mga panahon nila eto yung mga tao na hindi nabulag dun sa success ng mundo nila 
sila yung mga tao na hindi nabulag dun sa mga, ito yung nangyayari sa paligid nila, oh, parang most of the people in that in that area were drunk with wine, were, you know, they were very proud because of who they are, because of the position that they have compared to other tribes. They were trusting in in their positions, eh? their trust, and they were, you know, hindi lang sila isa, pero yung town nila. But then there are also people who will remain faithful to the Lord and keep their eyes on them, and hindi po sila na tempt to trust in the riches. So I want to encourage you. We're trying to make a living. Don't forget the source of life. Amen. Don't forget the one who can give you joy. Baka mamaya, no, we're really running after success. And magulat tayo pagdating natin dun sa taas where you think you're successful. Wala pala dun yung joy and satisfaction that you were running after. Amen. Because it's in the Lord. Amen. Number three. Okay, number three. Okay. Hope for the crown of glory. Okay, number one. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord's perfect timing for His promises. Number two, remain to be His people. You know, in the good times and the bad times, remain to be. Number th- remain to be His people. Number three, hope for the crown of glory. Okay. Um, in Hebrews chapter two, verse nine, sabi po dito, but we see Him for a. But we see him who for a little while was made lower than the angels, namely Jesus, crowned with glory and honor because of the suffering of death, so that by the grace of God he might taste death for everyone. And I want to repeat this. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 9. But we see him for a little while was made lower than the angels, namely Jesus, crowned with glory and honor because of the suffering of death so that by the grace of God he might taste that for everyone. I, I wanna go back to Isaiah 28 verse 5 The Lord of hosts will be a crown of glory and a diadem of beauty to the remnant of his people. Look at this in the Old Testament God's promises to his people na si Lord, diba? Si Lord yung magiging crown of glory mo. In Hebrews 2 verse 9, sinabi dito na the crown of glory is Jesus. He was suffered or he suffered death. He tasted death for everyone so that we can enjoy him. We can receive him for our lives. You know, the crown of glory is Jesus being in our lives. Is Jesus shining his life or shining his light in our lives. The crown of glory is Jesus in us. You know, it's Jesus in us. And those who persevered, we will see that glory of God shining. Amen. Amen. So put your hope in Jesus. Remember that he already died for you, gave himself for us. Will he not give what we desire or what we need? Jesus from the comfort of heaven, bumabasha. You know, he became poor so that we can be rich. He suffered so we can be free. Will he not care for what we care? Will he not love us the way that we want to be loved? Amen. So, where are we putting our hope, di ba? Yung, yung buhay po natin, what, are you, what is the end? Of your, what is the destiny that you want for your life? Diba? Um, dito po sa verse na to, sinasabi dito, now when we continue to, be, to remain in His people and trust in Him, we're gonna receive the hope of glory. We're gonna receive the crown of glory. And it's Jesus in us. You know, at the end of the day, it's having Jesus that matters. It's having Jesus that matters in our lives. Maybe right now, people will not be able na parang to, to see you na parang maybe they won't be able to appreciate right now Jesus but then when you carry Jesus with you they can see what God can do in our lives you know what does it mean to have a crown a crown means a reward of victory or a mark of honor a royal or imperial hairdress or a cup of sovereignty okay a cup of sovereignty when we you know those people of God, those people of God who 
remain to be His people, to trust in the Lord, they will experience the crown of glory. Yung crown na yon that represents, you know, yung crown na yon it is Jesus, and that crown represents royalty and sovereignty in our lives. Or yung, yung royalty and sovereignty ng Lord. Now, you know, you have that crown because you conquer the challenges. Diba? You have that crown because you remain in the Lord no matter what happened in your journey. You have that crown because at the end of the day, marami ka mang pinagdaanan, nag-waver ka man, but then you choose Jesus at the end of the day. You choose Jesus kahit na may mga pagkakataon that you feel you fail. Um, you choose Jesus, therefore you're gonna wearing that crown of glory. And it's Jesus, and it's shining, and people will see that it, you are one of those people, you are one of the people of God who remain in Him until the very end. You're one of those people na accepted yung suffering na ginawa ni Jesus para sa'yo. And because you remain to be His people, you're gonna wear that crown. In that day, the Lord of the Lord of hosts will be a crown of glory for his people amen you know at the end of the day it's us wearing the crown of glory and it's jesus it's us wearing yung yung um yung victory ni jesus you know the crown of glory what Je yung crown of glory and honor it represents that jesus overcome and when we are wearing that crown when we receive that crown it's a mark that we are his people and i want to encourage you and i want to challenge you that god wants to mark you as his people god wants to um to let the world know that his light is shining that you are sons and daughters of god and that you have persevered so do not lose hope or put your hope in jesus amen, amen. alam niyo po minsan um Minsan, you might be thinking na madaling sabihin no, na magtiwala kay Lord when, when there's no challenges in our lives. But you know what? Um, you know, but, but you know what? Yung, yung, yung challenges po natin, it may not be easy, but it can be a way for us to see the greatness of God and also that He is with us even in our pain. You know, pag nagkakaroon po tayo ng challenges, nagkakaroon tayo ng glimpse of what Jesus had suffered for us. Remember, parang um, sabi nga po sa Bible eh, na, 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 na overcome ni Jesus din yung mga temptation of a man. And you know what? When we have these challenges and temptations, may kita mo rin eh, na Lord Jesus, ito pala yung kinaharap mo, no? Ito pala yung mga naging temptations mo. So that, but you have overcome it for me. So when there's challenges on our lives, you can see, you, we're having this glimpse of what Jesus has done for us. We're having a glimpse of what Jesus had experienced for us. And because you have you have seen it, because you have experienced it, mas ma-appreciate mo yung ginawa ng Lord. Na Lord, hindi pala madali yung ginawa mo. Hindi pala madali that you became poor so that I can be rich. Diba? Hindi pala madali na nasaktan ka ng mga kaibigan mo. But yet, you know, you have carried, you have carried and overcome it for me. Amen. So, I want you to know that Jesus already suffered for us. That Jesus already gave himself for us so that we can experience the hope of glory. That we can experience him in our lives. Na, 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 this verse really speaks to me. Hebrews 2 verse 9. Nasabi doon, um, he, he was made lower than the angels. Eh, he was made, alam mo yun, parang ikaw king ka, tapos bababa ka. And then, yung mga servants mo, yung mga creations mo na angels, parang you were just made. You you were made a, a low, lower than them. Kahit pa sabihin natin little low. Di ba? A little lower than them. Pero, alam mo yun na parang boss mo ako tapos. Di ba? Parang boss mo ako tapos ganito. Di ba? Parang boss mo ako tapos utusan mo ako. Hindi, siya lang. Hindi naman siya inutusan ng angels. Na. Parang, pero boss mo ako but I was made a little lower than, you know, that humility. You know na, yung kinalimutan ng Lord, or hindi kinalimutan na yung yung pinili niya to to humble himself 
just for us to experience the glory of Him. Parang, parang how can be, or how, we, how, how deep is the love of God for us na yung position niya, it doesn't matter because I wanna, I wanna have you, I wanna see you, I wanna experience you. Alam mo po yun, na parang minsan nga lang, no, when people try to give mga luxurious things or yung mga mamahalin. Yan, Father's Day kasi kaya. <laughs> I mean, di ba mag, ano, yung pag mag-gift ka ng mamahalin, parang um, yun love mo dun sa taong yun o yung maybe some, some, some of us yung obedience natin. Parang yun love mo sa taong yun must be deep if you want to give them yung mga um, yung mga mamahaling bagay. Di ba? Ikaw ba magbibigay ka ng isang kotse sa hindi mo kakilala or sa stranger or yung nagbabantay ng kotse mo dun sa parking lot. Hindi <laughs> ka naman magbibigay ng mga uh, luxurious thing or mamahaling bagay sa kanila because or it's very rare. Di ba? Or hindi ka magbibigay ng something that costs you when you don't love them deeply. Di ba? Hindi ka naman magbibigay ng Jollibee lang. Yung bibili ka, pupu- yung sasadyay mo pumunta ka sa Jollibee. Tapos bibili ka ng ano, for, for that some strangers, maybe gagawin natin yun pag gawang-gawa, ganyan. Pero yung doing something, um, doing something that costs you, hindi mo gagawin yan sa isang tao unless you love them. But look at what, look at what Jesus did. He did not just buy something that is expensive but he himself sacrifice yung position niya sa langit yung magiging lower than the angel siya yung he became poor for us he he won't make that sacrifice and unless there's there's a love that is so great that is in him but you know Think about it. Think about it. Someone will die for you. Someone will choose to sacrifice himself so that you can be free and you can have what you need in this life. Someone will sacrifice himself for you so that you can experience the comfort of the Father. Someone will die for you so that you can have that strength and partner with the Holy Spirit to fulfill His dreams for you. You know, some, someone chose to give Himself for you. That's why I want to encourage you or I want to share that, that we can choose to put our hope in Jesus. We can hope for the crown of glory because He loves us so deeply that He gave Himself for us so that when we choose to remain in Him and trust in Him until the very end, we can experience this crown of glory. We can experience the light of Jesus and the glory of Jesus. But I want to I want to invite you in. Could you come back once again to the Lord and partner with Him? Can you journey once again with the Lord? Because He loves it deeply that He don't want to let you go. Now, even if sometimes you let go of Him, He won't stop reaching out to you. He won't stop loving you. The crown of glory, he wants his people to have it. He wants his people to experience it. So right now, I want to invite us, why not we just close our eyes? Why not just reach out to the, to the presence of God in your place? Let's just invite God. Maybe there were moments that our faith wavered. There were moments that we were tempted too much about the riches of life.
Let's just continue to reach out. Continue to to seek God. If you change the lane, na sinasabi sa ng Lord, don't change. Stay in your lane. There's a time to come back. There's this time to go back once again in your lane. It's not yet the end. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is. Nothing comes first to this. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus.
beautiful name. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Come on, just lift him up. You know, he's the crown of glory. He suffered for us. And he's worthy to be lifted high. He's worthy to be crowned to our praise. He's worthy to, to be magnified. He is worthy of all the glory, of all the honor, of all the praise. So this moment, you know, there is no worship that will be enough to give Him the glory. There will be no worship that will be enough to magnify and, and speak the magnificent of our God. So take this moment, Lord, for what you've done. We will bless you for what you've done. We're gonna shout your honor. We're gonna shout your glory. We're gonna shout your goodness, your, the beauty of your name, the power of your name. King God, you are our King. Come on, just a little bit more. Yours is the glory, Lord. Yours is the name above all names. Just, just thank you, God, that we have a good, good Father and a good, good King like you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for being our strength. When 
the challenges of life sometimes conquer us. God, your voice comes the storms inside of us. Sometimes when there's disappointment, condemnation that we experience, God, your voice brings comfort. And when our hope, when we are losing our hope, God, your hand reach us. Thank you for the word today, for reminding us once again to remain in your side, to remain to be your people, God, because there is a crown of glory waiting for us. The crown of glory that that Jesus laid down for us so we can have it. Just, we, can just, we can just stop worshiping you, God. We can just stop honoring you, God, because your goodness and your spirit is here. So we thank you, God. We thank you, our King. We thank you, our good, good God. You deserve all the glory. You deserve all the praise. And right now, if you're a first-timer, or first time mo lang makarating sa makajoin sa service na to I just want you to know that Jesus loves you and He died on the cross to save us if you're a person na feeling mo tinalikuran mo siya this is the time that we can come back once again and confess and make Him Lord of our lives so why not can you just follow me in this prayer if you want to accept Him in your life. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for your goodness. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Forgive me for all of my sins. Forgive me for turning away from you. God, here's my heart. You can have it. Be my Lord and Savior. Be my Lord and my Savior. I love you, God. Love you, God. Allow me to just pray for you. God, I just thank you, God, for these people who desires you, who wants you in our lives. God, bless them, Lord. I pray that as they start again this journey, they will see even more of your love and goodness, Lord. Marami pong salamat that you have promises for your people. Thank you for bringing us back to you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us in our service today. God loves you and we are unbound. Thank you for joining us today, declaring God's blessing, favor, and anointing over your life. See you again next week. Unbound, the Lord is with you. Let's fall in! Be a part of our weekly cell groups, meet new friends, and be connected. Join us every Tuesday morning at 6 a.m. for an hour of prayer. Choose today to seek God in prayer. Are you looking for a chance to serve in your church? Sign up and be a volunteer. Step into your calling and see what God can do through you. If you are new here, we would love to get to know you. Let us know you are here by typing I'm new on the comment section or simply message us through our page and other social media platforms. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no mind has imagined what God has prepared for those who love Him. We are changed from glory to glory. The old has gone, the new has come. God is making everything new. We have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. We are not forsaken. We are not abandoned. We are not rejected. We are called children of God. And we really are His children. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things He planned for us long ago. Transformation.